Well, the Imphal West Police today arrested two suspects in connection with the abduction and killing of a former Zeliangrong body president, Atwan Abonmai. The two suspects who were produced before the CGM court in Imphal West have been remanded to nine days of police custody. The duo has been identified as 48-year-old Wong Thalong Panme from Konthojam and 47-year-old Lanchabo Bosco Golme from Langol Lai Manai. Meanwhile, search operations are still underway in and around Tamenglong to nab the perpetrators involved in the killing of Athuan Abonmai. So indeed, viewers, the big development coming in from Manipur at this point in time. The Imphal West Police today arrested two suspects in connection with the abduction and killing of former Zeliangrong body president Athuan Abonmai. The two suspects who were uh, produced before the CJM court in Imphal West have been remanded to nine-day police custody. The duo has been identified as 48-year-old Wong Thalung Panme from Konthiojam and 47-year-old Lanchabo Bosco Golme from Langol Lai Manai. Meanwhile, search operations are still underway in and around Tamenglong to nab the perpetrators involved in the killing of Abon Mai. Yes, indeed, viewers, the big sensational development coming in from Manipur at this point in time as Imphal West Police have arrested two suspects in connection with the sensational abduction and killing of former Zeliangrong body president Atuan Abonmai. The two suspects who were brought produced before the CJM court in Imphal West today have now been remanded to nine-day police custody. The duo has been identified as 48-year-old Wong Thalung Panme from Konthiojam and 47-year-old Langchabo Bosco Golme from Langon Lai Manai. And meanwhile, the 48-hour highway blockade called by the Joint Action Committee demanding justice for former Zeliangrong body president Atwana Bonmai affected a normal movement of traffic along NH2 that connects Imphal to Dimapur as well as NH37 that connects the Manipur capital to Jiribam. Well, Bund supporters could be seen imposing the blockade in several parts of the state, Kangla Tombi and Sikmai areas along the National Highway too. And while the shutdown had no impact in Imphal itself, it had mixed response in other places. No untoward incident has been reported so far. Well, the Joint Action Committee against the brutal killing of Atuan Bonmai called the 48-hour long national highway blockade to put pressure on the Nbirin Singh-led state government for handing over the case to NIA demanding the suspension of Tamenglong DC and SP. Also, to hand over Atuan Abonmai abduction and killing case to NIA and suspension of the former Tamenglong DC and SP. It may be mentioned that Atuan Abonmai, the former president of Zeliangrong Bodhi, Manipur Assam Nagaland, was abducted by unknown miscreants on the 22nd of September from Tamenglong district headquarters. And just hours later, the body of Atuan Abonmai was recovered from Palong village under Tame police station in Tamenglong. And meanwhile, the Manipur Human Rights Commission has sought for a detailed report on the inquiry and the circumstances that led to the death of the former Zeliangrong body president. Well, the Human Rights Commission has taken up proceedings on the basis of a petition filed by an individual on the killing of Abonmai. Acting chairperson of the MHRC, Khaidem Mani Singh, said that the petition was filed by human rights activist Kesam Pradeep Kumar. Meanwhile, the autopsy of Abonmai's body was conducted today at RIMS Hospital in Imphal. However, Abonmai's family and the Joint Action Committee is yet to claim the body. Meanwhile, family members and well-wishers of Abonmai were waiting outside the RIMS morgue while the autopsy was being carried out. Tami MLA Awanbo Numai met the family members of the late Abonmai at the RIMS hospital. Take a look. A proceeding is taken up on a complaint petition filed by one Kaisam Pradikuma from Wangkai in connection with the recent abduction and the death, uh, brutal murder of one Atuan Abomai. 
in this connection, two FR has already been taken up under section 365 and 434 Indian Penal Court. And I have a hard complainant and his counsel, and I'm satisfied that a case may be registered under the Protection of Human Rights Act, 1993. So I have asked the Chief Secretary, Mento Manipur and DGP Manipur and the Superintendent of Police, Tamenglong, to report the status of the investigation of the case within two weeks for further proceedings of the Commission.